go oh, what bleached a thousand year blood war episode two is here and the biggest mystery coming off episode one is the fact that quincy can steal bankai very excited to see more about that i want to get the nitty-gritty details as far as if they steal a bankai does that mean the bankai is gone forever or will the shinigami be able to get the bankai back either way super super hyped to jump back into some bleach so let's get it just cut this dude's arm off didn't he ludas I'm surprised he's not passing out. I permit you. This dude's a king, bro. Oh, what? You're gonna take this dude's legs, too? I love this OST, too, dude. The Blood Warfare Foundation Stones. Bro. Is this the opening? I don't think we listened to the opening yet. All right, I'm digging it. Bleach had some of the best openings way back in the day, so really hoping this is another one. Oh, was that Ichigo with two new weapons? Ichigo's still fighting that Quincy, right? <laughs> nah, they know, they know he has it, dude. Chad's like, I gotta go help the boy. <laughs> yeah, they weren't really buddies in the beginning. And unfortunately, it looks like he's gonna be joining the Quincy again from the opening, so... Oh, by the way, they tried to steal my Bankai. Something weird's going on here. <laughs> my soul phone. I love this series, dude. For all the squads, dude. Okay. All 116? In 182 seconds, bro! Oh, he died? Yamamoto's not gonna be happy. Wonder how they're getting in. Ichigo saw the shadow transportation method. I wonder if that's how they're doing it, dude. So, bro, they just lost the second in command, bro, of the first division. They're doing a great job with the OST. Because obviously it's a sad day in, in Soul Society and the Seratai, you know? This dude's wondering, you know... I probably wondering why Quincy are back, dude. He had to have known that was a Quincy, right? And if I remember correctly, can't he also see like the the person's like uh like what they are by the color of their spiritual aura? So he can tell if somebody's a Quincy or a Jinigami or a Hollow, right? Ishida can. Yo, are you kidding me, bro? It's Nell, dude. <laughs> It's been so long since I've seen this character. I mean, it's been so long since I've seen all these characters. Something happened to Something's going on in Hueco Mundo too? Is that where they're... It looked like they were in Hueco Mundo last episode. Is that where the Quincy are hiding? Is that why they're killing people, bro? The voice actor is great. Let's go. What? Damn. Oh, is he going to off this guy too? Foundation stone. So they were around car, uh, Eburn was. So he's using the around car? How is he getting them to be on his side? Through fear? Alabel? Many foundation stones, name of the episode. Bro. Well, how are they utilizing her? The, his, yeah, the two buddies. I don't remember their names, but they were always comedic, bro. <laughs> okay, this is a, obviously a send-off for those who died. 
Yo, it was Kampachi, bro. Is Kampachi there? So they said the imbalance of souls, and we know Quincy's eliminate the souls of Hollows. Is that the first time he pledged like allegiance and loyalty? Mm -hmm. So she's okay. She Halibel came the ruler, and now the Quincy King has her. All right, let's hear it, bro. How the heck did they get her? Oh, that's what he looked like in the opening, bro. And look at his soldiers beneath him, dude. Bruh. So they came and they invaded Hueco Mundo. And now they're also taking on Arankars as soldiers as well, dude. He basically just filled Aizen's place. Yeah, they're not going to survive if they stay here. Plus, Nell's in her chibi for him, you know? So they fled. Halibel got captured. Isn't Grimjaw still alive? Or did he die in his battle with Ichi Ichigo? I could have, could have sworn Grimjaw was still alive. Grimjaw was always one of my favorites as well. Oh, they got Don Don Chaka, the big dude? He's asking for help. You gonna let them just go? They're, they're, they're friends, dude. You know, they helped him out when they were... Fighting uh, Aizen and that Spada. Why not? Okay. You helped them in the past, though. Why does he go back to the Quincy, though, dude? Because... Yo! Let's go, dude! Yes, you shall, my dude! Bro, it's so awesome seeing... Well, those are some cool designs. That's Halibel and the three, a spotter that were underneath... Or Ronkar that went underneath her. That's what eliminates Bankai, right? However, it didn't take Ichigo's Bankai. Of course it is. Isn't it always connected? So they came in here and they subjugated all of Hueco Mundo. Gives me very Imperial vibes, you know? Time for them to take these dudes out, huh? Oh no, they landed over there. Okay. <laughs> including the dead? Or they said excluding the dead? Probably excluding. All that death and destruction, bro. Dude, limbs ripped off, bodies torn in half. Damn, bro. Yo, Ichigo's sword looking so cool, bro. Yeah, that's how Ichigo rolls, though, dude. I mean, he befriended Arankar and whatnot, you know what I mean, dude? Like, that's just who Ichigo is. I mean, he has a hollow inside of him, right? I mean, he's a, a wizard, a wizard, so... Or he was, I don't know if he still has that after... Quilgay Quopi was his name? Oh, it's Halibel's three uh, subordinates, bro, isn't it? Listen to the music, it's very imperialistic, right? And they don't like hollows, so of course they would subjugate hollows. <laughs> the voice actor is good for this guy, though. Of course not, he says. So there's a test upon a test. Oh my goodness! Yeah, but there's... Nice! Let's go, dude. They're free. And luckily, Ichigo and crew are on the way as well. That is them. Oh! Was that his weapon? We didn't get to see what came from the charm. I guess it was a sword. 
I thought Quincy's usually used ranged weapons, so he is gonna he is gonna recruit them. Damn, dude! No, Eisen was a badass. What do you mean, dude? I will look for you. I will find you, and I will kill you. I would have loved to see Eisen versus Quincy King, dude. I mean, Eisen's still alive, so it's. Oh, let's go, dude. Those are the three that are under Halibel. Yes, I remember them. Those were Halibel's uh, subordinates. Self-proclaimed Miller Rose, Sun Sun, and Apache. Yep. That was a cool entrance. I like that. He, they murked all those other Quincy, dude. Bro, the episode's about to end, dude. Damn, bro. Let's go, dude. This dude's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My man's dodging like it's nothing. They ain't gonna be able to take him out. No, Tyr Alabel's locked up. She ain't working for him, bro. He's unscathed, bro. And that's the imbalance, right? Because they destroy the souls. Oh, Rose is a part, and Shinji's a part of them again. I totally forgot about that. Were they a part of them during the Fullbringer arc? I can't remember, dude. It's been so long. Yep, extinguish souls. Create that imbalance. The Quincy. He took them out, bro! Oh, it's happening next episode, dude! The after discussion can be found along with the uncut version over on my Patreon. Thanks for watching.